Coming to you from the floor of the CME Group, I'm Eric Wolfman Wilkinson. It's Wolfman Monday, April the 23rd. Let's get in the zone, the cash money zone. What's going on? We got a lot of information coming out overseas, not a whole lot of economic data coming out of the United States for the next couple of days. But overseas, we saw China manufacturing pullback. What did that do? That caused the equities to start selling off. Remember on Thursday, I talked about that. We'd see that equity S&P level come down, trade down to that uh, 1363. I thought we were going to hunker down there a little bit longer. We saw the bulls come back in a late, in, late inning rally, bringing that market back up. But then on Friday, like I said, we were going to see with no economic data heading into the weekend, some of that money people had pulled off the table being brought back into the, the equity market. So we saw a little bit of lift. But all of this data overseas, China, Germany, every Everybody showing back uh, lower than expected manufacturing numbers has caused the equity uh, markets to fall off. Even oil has come off about a dollar fifty overnight in the overnight session heading into today because everybody is seeing this global slowdown. So what's that doing? It's causing the equities to come off. I've been playing this equity market as a short intraday. Uh, for the past couple of days just because I've been seeing this economic data come out worse than expected but you know the bulls come out every once in a while when they see the good earnings well the good earnings are from Q1 the very beginning of it all this economic data is is more pertinent because it's actually showing what's going on now so if you're playing the equity markets I would be playing these from a sh short end because I think that the equities now that we've gone below the, the yearly POC point of control which I've been talking about forever 1364 we're down below that what's the next level we're gonna see probably 1344 that's my next support level on the downside I think we're gonna have to at least see that push down to there maybe even test the 1320s in the next uh, week or so depending on this economic data but one thing to keep in mind we don't have any economic uh, real data coming out we got some smaller economic numbers but the big thing everybody's looking forward to is the FOMC meet meeting minutes coming out on Wednesday and it's probably not going to show a whole lot they might still talk about that extended period of time which most people think it's 2014 but we're going to be able to see Bernanke after this meeting talk about what went on inside the meeting and what he sees as the real uh, rate of inflation and stuff like that and how that's pertaining to it. A couple of things I found out with the CPI, uh, if you took the metrics used in 1980, our CPI rate would be over 10%. Right now it's showing that it's about 2.5%. Two, two it's well below the metrics we used in 1980 when we were showing high inflation. 10% inflation is what the consumer really is feeling with these higher gas prices, higher corn, soybean. All these prices are higher. The consumer's got to pay more for it. So anyway, take it for what it's worth. If you can't take that, take it easy.